Hey guys, my name's Dale, and you're watching The Factoid. So after re-educating the entire populace that a tomato is a fruit, it turns out that was just phase one. Because it turns out the tomatoes are also a berry. And not only is this madness dictated to the tomato, because oranges and watermelons are taking place in it as well. Yes, watermelons are berries. <laughs> Yes, I know this is madness, but by the time you're done watching this video, you're going to be educated on a matter that our culture and language make it kind of hard to accept. We can do this. Why would you do that? We can do this. So it turns out that Barry isn't just a name, but also a scientific name. And through the science of botany, which is the science of plants, it would argue the fact that size of the fruit determines whether it's a berry or not. I mean, when most of us think of a berry, we like to think of it as just being a small little piece of fruit. But that's not always true. Because as I said, watermelons are berries, and they can get extremely large. So today, let's learn about what is and isn't a berry, and I think you might be surprised. So when it comes to all the fruit, they can be all categorized into three major groups. The first one being simple fruit, the other one being multiple fruit, and the third one being aggregate fruit. Each one depending on how many ovaries and fruit are involved in the final product. Berries fall into the category of simple fruit. A simple fruit is when a fruit itself is made out of a single ovary and can contain one or more seeds. And within simple fruits, there are two other groups along with berries. One of them being droops, which contain peaches, olives, and cherries. And yes, cherries are not berries. And the other subgroup is a group called pomes, which contains fruits that are members of the rose family, such as apples or pears. So yes, apples and pears are related to roses. And for a fun fact, almonds are too. The more you know. Wait, wait, that's my whole show. So then we get into the berry group itself. Berry, once again, has three groups within itself. So everyone that's in the berry group is technically a berry. Each one of them being separated from each other depending on their personal epicarp. An epicarp is the outermost skin of the fruit. The group within berry, simply dubbed berry, has a very thin epicarp. Another group is called Hesperidian, and Hesperidians have a leathery epicarp. And the other one is called Pipo, which have a very thick and hard epicarp. So if you ever want to sound scientific, call the outer skin of a fruit an epicarp. So what are some of the berries within the group called berry, you might be wondering? Well, get ready for your mind to be blown with things you didn't know were berries. So for the first subgroup within berry, which is also called berry, contains avocados, bananas, yes, bananas are berries, and blueberries. And you'll come to find that's one of the few berries that are actually a berry. Next one up is cranberries, grapes, so yes, grapes and cranberries are berries, as well as coffee berries. Coffee berries contain the coffee seeds in which we use to grind up and make coffee. And yes, coffee seeds are seeds and not beans. Y yes, I know, I'm completely shattering your complete perception of reality right now. There's no such thing as a true coffee bean. It's a lie. It's a lie. And then there's also persimmons and, well, tomatoes. And there are a plethora of other berries. I digress. The group dubbed Hesperidians contains leathery skinned berries. Most notably, oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruit, kumquat. Yeah, those are all berries. And the Hesperidian subgroup. Hesperidian. Sounds so pretty. And then for the last group is Pipo. Pipo contains papayas, squash, cucumbers. Yes, here's another one. Cucumbers are not only fruit, but they're berries. A cucumber is a berry. What is going on? That means pickles are berries. I, I don't I don't even know. I, I don't know. There's also cantaloupe, watermelon, and pumpkin. Pumpkins are the record holders for being the largest fruits in the world. They have the capability to be as big as a car. And that's a berry. That 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 is a berry. <laughs> and there are a plethora of other berries. But not strawberries, raspberries, or blackberries. None of them are actually berries. Well, if we go all the way back to fruit itself, and I told you that there are three subgroups of fruit. Single fruit, multiple fruit, and aggregate fruit. Berries are in simple fruit, but strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries are in aggregate fruit. Aggregate fruits are fruits that contain multiple ovaries developing from a single flower, technically making them not a berry. But calling a strawberry a straw aggregate Actually, straw aggregate. That sounds kind of cool, but uh, a raspapergate. A raspapergate. 
It's a mouthful, but we can do this because of science. A black abrogate. Probably not gonna call it a black abrogate. Oh, English. And in case you're wondering what multiple fruit is, which was one of the subgroups of fruit, it's a fruit that is formed by individual ovaries developing individual fruits, which eventually fuse into one fruit. Examples being pineapples, mulberries, which is also a lie, but calling it a multiple fruit would sound weird as well, and breadfruit. And that concludes our little lesson on what's a berry and what's not a berry. And that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to scientific classifications versus our English language and culture. So I hope I just destroyed your life and your perception of what is and isn't. So my question for you guys is, is what is your favorite berry? Don't mess up or I'll laugh at you. I'll, I'll laugh at you. That's what I'll do. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. My name's Dale. You're watching The Factoid. And remember, never stop learning. Thank you. One of the greatest people on the internet. And if you like my videos, please stay in tune for more of them. So let's get started. Videos over the facts that almost everybody missed. And around the age of five, him and his family moved to Steel